What's going on, socialites? A very sweaty Ryan here. Getting ready for week one of the Global Pokemon Society Draft League. Back in the thick of it. And we got an interesting matchup here, so... For those who remember, we came runner-up last season. Second place overall, lost in the finals. And, you know, we're kind of the most storied team in the society. You know, three championships, four finals. Even the other one, we went undefeated in the regular season, made it to the semifinals. So, very good. We're, we're what the other teams wish they could be. Hate us because they ain't us. And we're going up against the complete opposite, a brand new coach taking over the Slateboard Stabilize. Jeffrey, a uh, friend of the champion Danielle, so we'll have to see what he has to bring. And this is his team. Zarude, Ferrothorn, Sableye, Galarian Darmantan, Pelipper, Togedemaru, Slowking, Wobbuffet, Swoobat, and Delibird. Oof, so for those who saw our recent podcast where we ranked all the teams, we gave Slateport, like, the worst ranking. Um, yeah, just... You, you look at their weaknesses, they have five fire weaknesses. Luckily, I don't have a fire type, you know, lucky for them. But I do have Pokemon who can learn some good fire moves. So they're going to feel that. Five fire type weaknesses, four fighting, four electric, and four rock weaknesses. As well as three ghost, three bug, and three dark weaknesses due to all their psychic types. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got to focus on, just exploiting all those shared weaknesses. Um, really lets us kind of stack up on that move pool. Like, we don't have to be too diverse with our moves to uh, do big damage here. Um, looking at his team overall, the Ferrothorn can be pretty annoying. Uh, it's going to kind of stop us from wanting to do Trick Room stuff. But I think, like, we could just Dynamax... Hatterene or whatever and kill it um, with uh, Max Flare and then from there try to just do Trick Room or just use that momentum to keep it going. Sableye will be shut down pretty much thanks to Ndidi um, in the early game. We're going to bring Rillaboom but I don't think he'll really come into the game unless we see something pretty crazy. I mean he would be good against our Mantan just getting those grassy glides but Maybe. We'll think about it. Darmantan is scary. We might need Rillaboom to uh, take down Darmantan. Well, let's take a look at our team. Move it over a little bit. Alright, yeah, so ignore these kind of guys. Greedent's gonna be good. I'll use Greedent sometime this season. Don't worry about that. But uh, we'll bring Rillaboom, Eternus, Hatterene, Indeedy, Zapdos, and more Pico this game. So more Pico's going to see some action. Uh, Inteleon, he doesn't have any water weaknesses. Uh, Inteleon just doesn't really do too much for us there. Um, again, I think we'll mainly be bringing like these four. But I could definitely see Rillaboom or more Pico, depending on what he brings. Like if he brings the... Uh, Pelipper for some reason, then sure, we'll bring uh, more Pico. Um, but yeah, overall, I think we should win this. He, he could do some tricky stuff. I'm not going to, like, hold it against nobody to do some tricky things. So we'll see about that. But stay tuned as we get into the battles. Back to doubles. Best of three. See you there, socialites. All right, socialites. So we're in the battle here with Jeffrey. Do double battle rules. See what he brings. They're not the champion, so we won't be able to uh, use that sick pop. Well, what are we gonna do here? Uh, battle tower. Sure, bat battle tower. Why not? Why not? Maybe we should do Gym Leader. Gym Leader is always a good one. Just 
messaging Jeff, wishing him good luck, telling him that I'll record the battle. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, I hope we don't lose. <laughs> Who knows? We might. Alright, I think we're gonna go Hattery and Dee, Dee game one with Rillaboom, uh, Zapdos in the back. I think that'll be the play game one. And then we'll see kind of what his strategy is from there. Uh, Zapdos does have the taunt. So if we see that he's trying to do something with Trick Room on Slow King. You know, maybe we can see if it's a berry or if it's white herb. If it's a berry, we just gotta kill it. Because his team can do pretty well under Trick Room with his Ferrothorn. Um, again, we gotta kill the Ferrothorn ASAP. And hopefully, everything is good with him. Alright, let's see what he brought here. Okay, th this is not his team. That he brought. One second. All right, socialites, we're back after, in my time anyway, uh, our wait um, for Jeff to get his team together. Um, I don't know where the miscommunication was, but it was there. So let's hope that everything is hunky dory now. Let's see. Okay, so he does have all the Pokemon. He is bringing some different stuff than we thought, so it doesn't really look like we'll have to worry too much about Trick Room from him, so that is good. <clears throat> With that said, I think I still like this plan. Um, see what happens. Troy Scarf after you, Indeedy. He would be lead with the Rune and Sableye. So this is good. We basically. Totally ignore Sableye here. And should we go for the uh, fire move and choose the root? And we can after you and D uh, Hatterene here. Make it go first. His the root happens to be um I think we'll just go for the smite. If his the root is scarf, then I'll be um you know, somewhat annoying. But he won't be able to knock down the hit, and again, the Psyche Parade means that his Sableye can't touch us with anything. He can't take out, he'll probably have to go for, like, knock off, I would assume, and do the play. Alright, so, we get after you, which means we get to go, and let's see if he is sad. He is not, so, down goes the root. Confusing Sableye. That's good, and Sableye get, hits itself. Again, most likely a knockoff is coming out there. Let's see what the uh, next play is. Okay, Ferrothorn comes out. So we're locked into After You. Totally fine by me because again this um, 
Sableye is doing nothing, so we'll go for the Flare here in Ferrothorn. I assume this is his best max option. Ooh, but it looks like he's not going for it. We just bobbed that boy down. So this, this is Hatterene doing a Hatterene thing. You know, you don't need the female in DD necessarily to do stuff. Let's see. Okay, so it, that's where I figured it was going to go for the knockoff. Which is fine. We've done so much here. Um, we're going to go Zapdos because I don't want to overwrite the train right now with Sableye still up. We will kill Sableye this next turn. He has Dark Mana Can, so that is fine by us. He can't kill our Hatterene from here, even uh Yeah, he's even Dynamaxing the Dark Mana Can, which takes away its Gorilla Tactics ability. Hailstorm will only do about 37 to us. We get a nice Thunderous Kick. Again, the Choice Scarf won't work on there. We, we almost get the one-hit knockout. Let's see. So he's going to take down Zapdos. That's fine. We will kill Sableye here. And then be able to bring in Lillaboom. Fine. It does show our Babiri Berry, so he does know that we have that for his Ferrothorn. But now we can bring in Rillaboom and just Grassy Glide, take out our Man Man. So Hatterene just demolishing, brings me back to Season 2 when we had G-Max Hatterene on our team. Back in that season, you could only G-Max your G-Max Pokemon. They were a separate tier, so Hatterene had to do a lot of work. That was pretty heavy. Uh, trick Room team. We'll see here, we got the Grassy Glide. Should be enough to knock on our mansion. It is, and we take game one. Got the crit. Alright, so we take that one, so we're gonna do play with same rules. So, question is, do, do we just do the same thing? Like, what? what's his counter to this? <laughs> what's his counter? Sableye can't really do anything to Hatterene, even without Psychic Terrain up. Um, maybe he won't bring Sableye. We were kind of lucky that it got confused there, so maybe we shouldn't like bet on it. Like we could do something like Hatterene. Eternatus, Rillaboom, Zapdos. Well, 
Let's try this. Let, let's get a turn this in on this. Um, he can't taunt us. Sableye does have fake out, but will he lead it? I don't think so. Knowing what we had last game. Let's see how, how this goes. Darmantan wobbles that. So I want to, I think I want to max Hatterene again, and I'm just gonna, let's just make sure that, um, okay, so it is Shadow Tag, so we can't switch out, so I'm fine with this, and a Protect here. I'm gonna expect like an ice school crash into um, a turn. Oh, he's dynamaxing again. That's fine. Again, like Darmantan just loses so much from dynamaxing. You don't get your choice item. You don't get your gorilla tactics boost. Um, so I'm really okay with this. And this uh, max player might be enough to KO. And yeah, we're protecting here, so he's gonna go for a hailstorm. Um, he should survive. Yeah, he, he should only do about a third through the protect if that's what he went for. Let's see what I'm. I'm just curious what this wall effect's gonna do. There's a hailstorm. Yeah, so this should do about a third. Yep. Right where we want him. Wobbuffet went for Destiny Bond, so we're just gonna ignore Wobbuffet. Once we get um, Zapdos out, we can haunt it. Some real good damage. overwrite the hail so that's good we won't get any more chip we get some black sludge recovery so I don't really want to kill Wobbuffet is the thing here. Would Destiny Bond even work against uh, Dynamax? I don't think it works against Dynamax. We're just gonna do this. Flank over, pick up the KO, and darn man can't take out his G-Max yet again. Again, I think his best G-Max in this game was definitely Ferrothorn. Um, Pelipper, maybe. Could have done stuff. Alright, so we get a nice hit onto Wobbuffet with that Max Phantasm. Counter, but that doesn't do anything. I mean, Wobbuffet Effect can definitely be tricky to play around. Alright, so we have Ferrothorn. We should be a lot faster here. So. I mean, unless it's like max speed. Let's see. Again, I'm gonna just ignore the Wob Effect. I'm gonna double up into the Ferrothorn if it, for some reason, survives the flamethrower here, which I doubt it will. I mean, it's freaking Eternatus, four times effective. Yeah, it takes it out, so this uh, Phantasm will be enough to take down Wobbuffet. And now he's gotta go up against a 4v1. We are out of Dynamax turns. 
which is something. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. Most likely Zerud. No, it's Sableye, actually. Sableye can definitely be annoying, but its only offensive move is... gonna be knockoff, so... Like, you can expect like a fake out here. Oh, no, no fake out. Let's get a one hit on there. So yeah, there's knockoff. Again, not too worried about that. And the Dazzling Gleam will pick that up. So, Boston Braviaries picking up the 2 and 0. Um, unfortunately, it seemed like Jeff was a little confused about the rule set or his team. Um, so, hopefully, if he's looking for different Pokemon in a couple weeks, he can make the changes that he needs to. But yeah, hopefully Jeff has a fun, good season. And make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you thank Jeff for joining the society. He did join kind of last minute um, here. You know what I'm saying? The, the ladies love when we do this. Yeah, yeah, they love a little spin show, baby. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but as always, thanks for watching. Stay classy, society.